This party is at the farm. Here? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, look at that. Got some flowers already. Very nice. Let's go kill some monsters. Yeah. Oh, wow. The whole village is celebrating. Oh. Witcher, as I live and breathe. sign of her yet. We need to wait. This is very romantic. <laughs> Fuck off. Behold! Wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. I look horrible with a scar. Whoa, whoa, hold. Mean to go in wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? What? <laughs> all in all, why not? Ah, that's the spirit. Hey, you weren't gonna possess me, I thought. Until after the wedding. Ah, uh, this'll do wonderfully. Perfect fit. Whoa. It feels tailor-made. Now, for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. Hmm, and we must be neat. Nothing's fixing the scar on my face, though. <laughs> May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. <laughs> You're actually quite amusing this way. <laughs> Agreed. Don't mention Geralt. If Vladimir wants to get with Shani, don't mention Geralt. Be assured, you'll like me even better when you come to know me more intimately. <sighs> How intimately? Enough to get a sense of my assets, my dear. Trust me, they're nothing to scoff at. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment, then you can jump right back in. Be quick. I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass <laughs> me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. What, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Relaxed? So you think I'm uptight? What I mean <laughs> is, it would be nice from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life. Instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does... <sighs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're as dense as year-old heart tack. Luckily, you've got me. This might be one of my favorite exchanges I've seen Geralt have with anybody. <gasps> we'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. 
We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. Don't forget your glass slipper. This way, my strawberry. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, the guy's quite a poet. <sighs> Hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned, a proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. But none compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. <laughs> Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the mutt must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the doghouse is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. Do they not have pet dogs back in your day? <laughs> oh, what a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I'd do anything. Oh, we don't get the ceremony part at the temple. Be a butcher when I grow up. Hmm. Come. Time to meet and be greeted. I shan't stray a step from your side. I saw some fair maidens eyeing me earlier. Where are you guys? What do you want, Glad girl? Did you make the long journey to be here with us? Look at the way he's walking. Time to say hello. Be nice now. We'd have trekked from Kavir if we'd had to. This is your special day, love. <laughs> Congratulations! Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vlo- uh, This is my friend of yesteryear, Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. <laughs> Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings. The brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could... Excuse me. Righto. I'm sure we'll <laughs> all have a splendid time. Oh, dear. Uh... Let's go for the safe option here. Tell me, Aldona. How is it you and my dear Shani know each other? We met in Oxenfurt. Both studied medicine at the academy. Wondrous times. Over quickly in my case, alas. My family couldn't afford to keep me there. I was forced to return home after one year. It's never too late to pursue an education, my dear. Your husband is certain to help you complete your studies, provide the necessary coin. I don't know. We've not talked about it. Come, Jonas, surely you've not taken Aldona as a mere diversion for the alcove. You will help her, will you not? That is between me and her. You needn't butt in. But I'm not. I merely ask. See, I've come to love your wife like a sister. What? So I ask you as your brother-in-law, will you help her? I'm sure we'll discuss the matter. <laughs> That's my lad. You're a right decent chap. I knew it from the start. Oh, I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted. But these two are kind of insensitive, aren't they? 
For science. <laughs> Aldona seems a curious choice for a bride. Did she come with a hefty dowry? <laughs> I assure you, Witcher, my choice had naught to do with coin. Jonas' family is far better off than mine. They're a textile manufacturer. It took a lot of convincing to get Mother to agree to our, as some would have it, mess alliance. Toh, you never told me. Whatever happened to fortune is of no import to me and my family. It isn't. Jonas told me the same. That your background doesn't bother him. Never does. Not at love's first blossoming. But give it time. Five years and you'll find few things that don't bother you. I'm beginning to find what you say bothersome. I don't know where you're from, but in these parts it is rude to insult newlyweds at a wedding. Insult? I'm merely warning you. Know a thing or two about life, you see. <sighs> Geralt and his jests. He has a strange sense of humor. Very strange, I'd say. <laughs> Look at Shawnee. <gasps> You're not wrong, Vladimir, but you also have no sense of social decorum. <laughs> oh, we've committed. Aren't you an extraordinary beauty, my dear? Why, thank you. You had your pick of gents, I'm sure. Where is this going? I'm attempting to discern why she chose you, Jonas. Mean you don't approve of my wife's choice? I've no skin in this game. I ask out of pure curiosity. Well, rein it in, or I shall have to explain my wife's choice to you, hands on. Out of pure pleasure. Why so testy, friend? Have I insulted you? Merely told your wife she was a beautiful woman, yet here I'm threatened instead of getting thanks. Have some manners. Geralt, that's enough. She simply fell in love, that's that. Jonas, I'm sure my friend meant no offense. I think we've sufficiently offended everybody. <laughs> we've chewed the fat enough. Time's a wasting. Are you, uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! <laughs> I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their... It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. Sorry, Shawnee. I was very rude, but nobody seems upset. And shut and shut, holding tight to her hat. You must have a splendid time. That's what matters. Make the most of it. It's 4.30 right now. What a wonderful Look wedding. It's clear the newlywed's parents spared no expense. Look, Look! Smearing their wedding garb with mug. Aha, finally, a manly man's sport. They're catching pigs? What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned king of the swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady, meaning. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose? Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. No, oh, I can do this. King of the swineherds, eh? And what's this king get exactly? The king's ransom, I would hope. No coin. Honor's the prize. King gets a crown of laurels he pins to his saddle, rides about with pride that he's king of the swineherds. You mentioned some trifles for the lasses. Are they worthwhile at least? For certain! Lovely, every last one. Pretty as a painting. Win and see for yourself. Sounds good to me. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. Get that cripple out of there! Oh. Couldn't chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the Witcher give it a run. Master Witcher. Slayer of monsters, chaser of pigs. Shame there's no painter here. It's a moment worth immortalizing for posterity. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. No, oh, well, we're doing pretty good here. Oh, buddy, you gotta keep moving. Come on, piggy. 
got a nice and cozy pen for you. Not this way. Not this way. The other one's not moving at all. Come on, scram! Ah! Go inside. Stupid swine. If they infuriate me anymore, I'll whack them with a sign. No, no. Let's try to do this legit. You see that, Shawnee? One pig penned. If we use a sign here, everyone might get scared. It's supposed to be a normal feast after all. Come on, piggy. I imagine the sign that we would use would be Axie though, huh? But we don't need to. Feel foolish, peasants? Learned a lesson from your better? Are the pigs penned? Indeed they are. Master Witcher, we ain't seen such pig chasing skill in a long time. Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? Go on, admit it. My family had many pens. But that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. However it were, the crown's going to a good man. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favor. Yeah. A pig? Just don't go ah. hiding it in some pouch. Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. What do you say to that, Shani? Ever witness such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through muck. You were a joy to watch. How does my heart's captor like the uh, prize I won for her? The rag stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. Oh. Hmm. Tell me, Shani, what's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl. That's clear. In Geralt's name and flesh, of course. But still, yet the more I woo you, the less you seem ready to succumb. So I ask myself, what am I missing? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. <laughs> Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one. With the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everegg does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. <laughs> An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. He's taking this so seriously. Did it hurt terribly, my sweet? What? When you fell from the heavens. <laughs> Why so? <laughs> it's working! Shh, my dear. No more words. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? But really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? Then how? <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well. Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Nestle, step away from the man. Uh -oh. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers. And we swore to our down his dying day, we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. Uh, I don't want to insult her brothers right in front of her. Easy, lads. No harm done. An innocent conversation with an innocent miss. The kind weddings are for. We all heard your innocent talk. Wanted to draw her to the barn. What were you gonna do there? Talk some more? 
Naturally, we would speak, but first we would dance. Now tell me, what sort of fool wouldn't want to dance with a beauty like her? Find another beauty, or I'll dance with you myself, just after I grab me a fence post. Geralt, you saw it. I tried to resolve this peacefully, but they wish to fight. Suits me just fine. Sounds like wonderful fun. Fence boards right over there for the taking. Fear eat your stones. That's the last plowing straw. No one accuses Vladimir von Everick of cowardice. Calm down, boys. Don't want to fight you. Too damn bad, because we're going to tan your mutant freak hide. That does it! Oh, no. Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. We're starting a fight at the wedding. This can't be good. But we can't lose. Fence boards. The perfect weapon for sweaty ass swineherds. Perfect fit for your gum, you plowing gentle fuck. Oh god. At least we're not killing people. We're just having a friendly spar, right? Or at least that's what I like Never to think in anyway. My life have I reveled so fiercely. Step up. Who else wants a shave? You want to give up? Damned cretin creamed me. Embarrassing to take a licking from a boar. Had enough peasant spawn. Thought yourself a match for a von ever. I mean, a witcher. <laughs> Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jawed yaps. Oh, Where to, no. my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Geralt, you must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? Pretty much. You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen. Tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh. All right. <laughs> your methods... Quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. Well, that really wasn't Vladimir's fault, though, but we gotta... <laughs> we gotta roll with it. My dear girl, what don't I have up my sleeve? I'd gladly demonstrate. Perhaps behind the barn? <laughs> I think you've demonstrated enough. Let's just enjoy ourselves, all right? You don't have all that much time left. Your wish is my command, milady. I'd never deny a maid so fair-featured. Off we go. I feel a little bit sad right now because the reason why this is so enjoyable right now is because it's not Geralt. Ah, <sighs> so good to shake the kinks from one's bones. We must yes, find more, more monsters. fun. Because it's entertaining to see Geralt's face but him not acting like he normally does. Yeah, Vladimir. I think Vladimir is the kind of guy where if you like him already, then the stupid pickup lines would actually work. But if you don't like him, he'll probably seem like a big creep. Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows? What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? Ooh. Changed your mind, my nymph? Won't you ever leave me be? <laughs> Stay out of the cellar over long. Cobwebs will seal it shut. Luckily, I have a great broom. Ah, go nag another! Oh my god, you have no standards, Vladimir. Changed your mind, my nymph? Okay. Won't you ever Stay out of the cellar over long. Cobwebs will seal it shut. Luckily, I have a great broom. Ah, go nag another! That poor old lady getting harassed. <sighs> it's 
seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot. Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. Tis a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh, look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. Well, poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. Oh. What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. I mean, even if you fish it out, it's still gonna be wet, right? <laughs> and once I retrieve it? Well, your maid'll be pleased as punch. Or it means you're a gallant bow. And awful handy. Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the miss in question. Oh. If she wants to give you a kiss, she will. But she ain't obliged. I'm really curious what Shawnee thinks about us right now. Because I... Uh, again, I have Geralt's face, but... The innards, it's not Geralt. I feel like she's not rejecting me right now all that much, though. Seems like she does enjoy it to some degree. Oh my. Oh, there's more to come. It's not even your body, Vladimir. <laughs> Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. Whoa, Shani, your shoe is like leather. It's not gonna dry for like 20 years. Observe, Shani. My just when you think you know ah. all the plow folks' customs, they surprise you with slippers. So now the shock's faded. Perhaps you could stop talking and fish out my shoe, which I so unfortunately lost in the pond. I will do so. Just when you think you know all the plow folks' customs, they surprise you with slippers. So now the shock's faded. Perhaps you could stop talking and fish out my shoe, which I so unfortunately lost in the pond. Thank goodness we have witcher senses, huh? Shani, my love. I found it. Just when you think you no. know all the plow folk's <laughs> customs, they I surprise want, you with slippers. I got it already. So now the shock's faded. Perhaps you could stop talking and fish out my shoe, which I so unfortunately lost in the pond. Wait, I took it just now, but oh, there was another one. Whose shoe did I take just now then? Was that that was the other lady's shoe? Okay. It still says find Shawnee's shoe in the lake right now. Let me see if I can give it to her. Just when you think no? you know all the plow folks' customs, they surprise you with slippers. So now the shock's faded. Perhaps you could stop talking and fish out my shoe, which I so unfortunately lost in the pond. Are there like 20,000 shoes down here? We picked up two shoes and it's still not Shawnee's shoe? Oh, you've got to be joking me. What? How did it get into the corner here? The objective didn't change. Are you serious? I'm even using Witcher senses right now, and I don't see that it's changed. Shoot. There we go. Damn mucky that pond, sinking up to my armpits. Uh, I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe, and all the other shoes over tossed in the lake. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One found it in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers, and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, so generous. 
and clever. <laughs> Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm-hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. <laughs> uh, thank you. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. Oh. Faster, faster, till we expire. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know this is supposed to be happy, but again, this makes me a little sad. Because it's not really Geralt. <laughs> Shani might actually end up getting wooed by the end of the night here. Hmm. And now, a special treat for our special guests. The Witcher Whoa. Geralt and his enchanting partner, Chani. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. He doesn't recognize him. Come, Shani. It's time you discovered my romantic side. And Shani doesn't know what Gondor Odin looks like. Why is he here? Oh, you're rather good at this. That was him, right? I don't see him anymore, though. What the heck? They say dance is a mere foretaste of... Hmm, more intimate interaction. Who says this? I do, for one. <laughs> I do wonder what you mean by intimate interaction. Oh, it's a fascinating process. One you as a scholar and medic might find especially interesting. I'd gladly explain it in detail, but it's horribly loud in here. Mm, see the ladder? Leads to a loft. Surely there we'd not be disturbed while investigating the nature of intimate interaction. Seems the music in the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner? I'm um, not sure I do. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I have my mind, my heart, for you. We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you shall keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Yeah, I don't think that was a good idea. She wasn't really that into it to begin with. I can't say sorry. Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just... Next time, don't lunge at me like that. I'd had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time, I shall ask. Shani, may I kiss you? <laughs> you are incorrigible. Uh, could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm 
curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Honestly, it probably would be really boring. It wouldn't be the third one, no. Can't say what would have happened. Probably wouldn't have danced at all. Oh, really? Shut up! Shut up! You'll ruin everything! At any rate, I wash my hands of all my actions till the stroke of midnight. I see. Happened to see the man who announced our... your song? Yes, he acted as though he knew me, but we've never met. I was surprised. Who is he? Gontaro Dim, Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a whim. Promise you this much, he never does anything simply. And certainly not on a whim. Bah. I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes, listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. I wonder if Geralt would dance on his own, though. I feel like he wouldn't, which is why I chose that choice there. Mm. The night is young. Come, let's do something wild. You must have a splendid time. That's what matters. Make the most of it. We have to talk to Master Mirror, but we can also take part in wedding activities until midnight. If I may, Shani, I'd show you how I cut a jig. Limbo <laughs> is a leopard. <laughs> Don't let me stop you. By the way you move, what charm, what grace. Thanks. <laughs> la la la. <laughs> What's going on over there? Oh, that's Gondor Odim. What's that, you boy? I'm Ruffy of Whaley and Travelers. He's what I mean. Aye, so I've heard. Crackers. That gingerbread's an out but flour, honey, eggs, and spices. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time, you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. That's what you have a lot of, huh? Greetings, Shani. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. Seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother, that you envied all geared from your earliest days, and always wished to be just like him. Ooh. Wait, you can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Everek? Well, of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and... Just who would I be if the true nature of things remained hidden from me? Someone like you, meaning no one. I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't touch me. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest, nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, 
no matter how much you wish you were. You know, I would have very simply accepted it if Gondro Odin was like, oh, I was the one who gave Geralt the magic to bring you here, to let you have fun in this party. But he had to go and make it all weird with like, oh, of course I can see you, because I'm like, weird and supernatural. I came here to revel, enjoy myself, not to discuss my brother. That's good. Orgiad probably wouldn't want me to talk to you about him. Orgiad was my brother and my friend. Never have there been more loyal comrades than us. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? Good he question. Made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgeard told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgeard visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm, well. Perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Yashani, I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. All lies, not a word of truth. Don't let it bother you. Old Geard was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Let it go. I believe you. And now revel on. Time won't wait. Time, time, time. We won't have time to do everything. Look at how many markers are on the map. Look at the time. That took two hours, talking to Gondor Dim. Uh, you guys making gingerbread here? Fortune favor you. How are you faring? Okay. Time. Something we're very short on right now. 